Hello, my name is Jesper Lundstedt and I'm the head of Robotics Experience Center here in Sweden. Today's session is about defining I.O. signals, setting up cross connections and system I.O.s. In this example, we will control a tool changer. To do so, we need to define two digital output signals in the controller's I.O. system. One of them will have default value 1 and the other one will have the default value 0. We create a cross connection for the locking and unlocking of the tool changer to be able to set just one I.O. signal. The actor is inverted, which means that the signals in the cross connection will have opposite values. I'm now connected to the robot system and I also have bright access. First, we will uh, define two digital output signals on a proper net device. And to do this, we need to go into the IO engineering tool. And under the PropNet controller, we will find our device. Here I will create two system, uh, digital output signals. And the first one, I want to have a default value of 1. So it's, it has a value 1 when the system starts up. So now we have two signals that will control our tool changing. We also need one digital input signal and this one we will have as a simulated signal. But to configure this we go in under configuration, system, IO and signals. So here I will create a new signal. And this one will have access level all. The next step is to create our cross connection. And you will find the cross connection also in the IO system under configuration. Here we right click and uh, choose new cross connection. And we will give it a name. And also choose the IO signals we want to use for this one. And in this case, we will control our tool changer. And I will also invert our actor. The third step is to define a system input signal. The system input is also found under the IO system. The first step here is to find our signal that we will use and what action it will have. And this one I will use for start my robot system and if I wanted to start continuously or cycle at this time I want to start with the cycle now we need to restart our robot system The system is now restarted and I will verify my cross connection. To do this, 
Hell Queen under Ayo on the flex pendant, Propinet, my device, and here we can see our two signals. And you can see now our D DO lock TC signal is status 1, which was the default value for the startup, and the other signal is 0. I will now change the lock signal to 0 and the unlock signal is now 1. This is because I wanted to be inverted to the actor. The last thing before we can do a test run is to add one of the tools changes signals to the rapid code. Let's take the IRB 1100 for a test drive. <laughs> 